We want the snap zone to only accept the chair and not anything else like a cube. So if I control D on the chair there just to duplicate that, I'm going to make this, uh, call it cube, and the mesh container still has the cube in there. We'll turn that back on, turn this back off, and let's make that a 0.1. And hold the V key for vertex snapping and make it snap right to the table. And if I play this, it'll accept both, but we're going to be changing that. Let's just verify that it does, in fact. Looks like a chair, but when I let go, it takes it. But I don't want it to take it, I want it to only take the chair. So, Inside this snap zone here, it's looking for a snap validity, it's looking for a rule. And these are components we can add. If I do a list contains rule, there's the rule that's going to go into this slot, but it's looking for a series of objects. So we can add a unity object observable list. Unity object, uh, there it is. Expand that. And at the bottom of that, where it says elements, size zero, we can put any number of elements in there, but I'm just going to do one. And now it's looking for a specific object. So that would be our chair. Goes in there. Awesome. And now we can take this list and put it into our objects list. And that constitutes a rule. And the rule goes where it says snap validity. So really it's just a list of objects that the snap zone will accept. And now, with any luck, we should be able to only accept the chair. Let's try the cube. Nope. Chair. Yep. So, the snap zone now only accepts the chair and not the cube.